Welcome back to Brain Flow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Pop Smoke's death was not a murder by robbery. It was a straight up hit. And there is surveillance video to prove just that. I don't know, man. That is what TMZ is saying. And like I said before, TMZ be having a scoop because Harvey and them, they go in. All right. Uh, they have the connections and they get it in. So anyways, I go over there and this is what I see. Pop that's Pop Smoke's death was not a robbery going wrong. It's actually a targeted hit. Why? People who have seen the surveillance footage from outside the Hollywood Hills home where Pop Smoke was killed Wednesday morning tells us that you see four men approach the house at around 4.30 a.m. in the wee hours of the morning and sneak around to the back. A couple minutes pass before three of the four men walk back up the side of to the front of the house. The fourth person apparently walked in the back door, but no camera was trained on the back door of the house. Now, this is one of those Hollywood Hills home mansions where there's supposed to be cameras everywhere on all the entrance, exit points, and all that other stuff, right? Bad enough they didn't lock, they, they had just deadbolted the front door, but why was there no camera trained on the back door, and how did this person know to go that route? And how come their entrance was so smooth? You see the four men approach the house at about 4.30 a.m. Four of them walk to the back. Three of them walk back up to the front of the house, all around the side of the house to the front of the house. The next time you see the man, the fourth man, he exits through the front door of the house. So he goes in through the back and does what he has to do and exits through the front door of the house. As was reported before, multiple shots were fired inside the home and they only struck Pop Smoke, nobody else. Pop Smoke was rushed to the Cedar sinai Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. At first, it seemed like it might have been a robbery because the rapper had posted that large stack of money sitting in that vehicle in the driveway and people were saying, Oh, the address they got it from the bags that he was, you know, probably some sponsors or whatever sent him some bags and whatnot on social media, one of which had the home address on it. He also posted another pic hours before the shooting of himself in a car holding all that money. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The folks who have seen the video... And this is according to TMZ. TMZ is saying the folks who have seen the video told them that the person inside the house was the shooter. Did not carry anything out of the house. Given that he shot someone, it's doubtful he would take the time to stuff items in his pocket. Now, Pop Smoke, who was 20 years old, had already made a name for himself in the music game, and he was blowing up pretty quick, and, you know, Nicki Minaj remixed his stuff. He appeared on Travis Scott's latest project, Jot Boys. Uh, his mixtape charted at number seven on the Billboard 200 charts. He was going out doing a whole lot of shows. He was in the middle of, matter of fact, his Meet the Woo tour, and all this happened. A lot of people are saying that, well, not a lot of people, but sources are saying that he knew that he was being followed. Well, if he knew that he was being followed, why didn't he do something about it? I don't know. All we know is that it looks like a straight up hit because the people who saw the video so far have said that the men left with nothing and it seemed as if their only goal was to get in get him and get out i don't know is this some blood versus crip stuff 
Is this some um, East Coast, West Coast beef resurrected? Is this some um, he came to L.A. and he didn't check in with the right people like Blueface was saying uh, or alluding to that you got to check in and you got to check in with the right people? I don't even understand how that whole check in stuff work. Who are you supposed to check in with? How do you know who to check in with? Because right now I got an artist. And I got a feeling my artist is going to blow. And say when we start doing the work, the groundwork, and I get out to L.A., how do I know who to check in to or with? If, because I don't want to violate the codes of the streets, or do you hire police uh, to be your security, even though if checking in is so important, I could only imagine that probably... Probably even police officers are have infiltrated and are a part of the gangs that or the organizations that you have to check in with in order to do business in their city. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I feel I feel bad for him. On the other note, I just found out a couple of things about the dude. He was a star athlete. He was a star athlete at basketball. And he was a star athlete at football. And he had scholarships. And he could have went to some top 10 universities. He was offered scholarships. But got caught up and messed that up. And still did not give up. And his story is one of those stories where... You know, he was destined to make it regardless. He himself said he never saw himself as a rapper. He only picked up the mic in 2018. Joking around, he did a song and let a song out, let it leak a little, and it did numbers. And then they started getting mad phone calls. And then from there on out, the rest is history. Look at that. But look at this ending. Anyhow, man, I hope his family gets some justice out of this. For some reason, though, I think this right here is going to go like Biggie and Tupac. The two biggest artists in the game get killed in L.A. And nobody knows anything to this day. All a bunch of hearsay and a bunch of people selling books and videos, and movies, and all that, and telling stories, and doing interviews, and getting paid, and writing tabloid articles, and getting paid, but no truth, and no justice for the families, it is what it is, be careful out there, leave your comments in the comment section below, tell me what you think about this one, do you think, do you think that this was some East Coast, West Coast beef stuff? Or do you think that this was gang related? Or do you think that this was one of those sacrifices? I'm out. Peace.